Welcome to the deep dive. Today, uh, we're going to be looking at AI tools for English language teaching. Okay. Our guide for this deep dive is someone I'm really excited about. It's Dr. Nellie Deutsch, who has over 40 years experience in ELT wow. and a real passion for finding tech that actually works in the classroom. Yeah, that's great. She's generously shared a presentation with us. And our mission today is to kind of extract those golden nuggets of wisdom for you, the listener. Excellent. So think of it as your cheat sheet to the future of ELT. I love that. So to kind of introduce Dr. Deutsch a little bit more. Um, she has a doctorate in education. Okay. And she's been using computers in her teaching since 1992. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. So she's seen a lot of trends come and go. Yeah. And she's also a mindfulness practitioner. That's really interesting. Oh, I find that fascinating. Yeah. Yeah, she even incorporates mindfulness into her teaching. I love that. You know, she's not afraid to blend different approaches. And speaking of blending, yeah. she mentions a ton of AI tools in her presentation. Canva, ChatGPT, Google, Gemini, Perplexity, Claude, Magic School. Oh, wow. The list goes on. It's a lot to keep up with. It's clear that the AI landscape is evolving at such a rapid pace. Yeah. And it can be overwhelming for teachers to keep up. Absolutely, it's true. Yeah. You almost need a map and compass to navigate it all. I know, it's so true. Uh, yeah, but that's where Dr. Deutsch's insights, I think, are so valuable. Yeah. Because she's actually using these tools with her students. Yeah. So she can really tell us what's working and what's not. Exactly. And that's what we're going to do today. So let's dive into some of her top picks. Okay. Sounds good. She starts with ChatGPT, which many of you might already be familiar with. Mm -hmm. But what really surprised me is that it's not just a chatbot anymore. Oh, really? It's now a fully functional search engine. Wow. And get this, it's completely free and without ads. That's a game changer. Ah. Especially for teachers right. who spend hours searching for you know, really reliable research. Yeah. To have a tool that can just cut through the noise and deliver these credible results instantly, it's a huge time saver. Exactly, and it makes you wonder if it could eventually even replace Google yeah. for educational searches. Interesting. I know, I would love to get rid of all of those sponsored results. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I think it has the potential to be incredibly valuable. Yeah especially if it continues to improve its accuracy and reliability. Right. It's definitely something worth exploring further, for sure. Absolutely. Now, another tool that caught my eye is Magic School. Okay. It uses AI to generate learning activities, which sounds amazing. That does sound pretty great. I know, but Dr. Deutsch pointed out that it can be a bit clunky oh, when it comes to exporting those activities. I see. So it seems like it's more suited for in-class use. That's a good point. Yeah. It highlights the fact that, you know, these tools... They're not perfect. Yeah. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. Exactly. It's about finding the right tool for the right purpose rather than expecting a one-size-fits-all solution. <laughs> right. It's not about replacing the teacher, but about finding ways to enhance what we're already doing. I agree. And speaking of enhancement, Dr. Deutsch is also a big fan of Book Creator. Okay. The free version allows for 20 books. Oh, wow. Which is perfect for student projects. Hmm. Imagine your students becoming published authors sharing their work beyond the classroom walls. That's fantastic. I know. It really taps into the creative potential of AI. Yes. And gives students a real-world platform for their work. Would you try incorporating student publishing into your curriculum? Absolutely. Yeah. I think it would be a great way to motivate them and also help them develop their writing skills. Yeah, for sure. Okay, now buckle up because this next one is really interesting. Okay. Dr. Deutsch raves about ReflectBot, an AI-powered reflection tool okay. that's still free for educators. I'm curious about this one. Yeah. What is it about ReflectBot that makes it so special? Well, she claims that the questions it asks are more insightful than those a human could come up with. Oh, wow. That's a bold statement. I know. How does it manage to do that? Does she give any examples of the types of questions it asks? Well, she mentions that the questions go beyond surface level thinking <laughs> and encourage students to really delve deeper into their learning process. I see. She didn't give any specific examples, unfortunately, in the presentation, but it definitely piqued my curiosity. It does raise the question of how AI can be used to not just deliver content, right. but also foster this critical thinking and metacognition. Yes. That's where things get really interesting. It's like AI is becoming a partner in yeah. the learning process, guiding students towards deeper understanding. It's just a really powerful concept. It is. Now let's talk about a tool that's a bit more on the advanced side, Eleven Labs. Okay. It allows you to create your own conversational AI tutor. Wow. 
That sounds incredible. Can you imagine the possibilities? But I imagine it must be pretty complex to set up. Well, Dr. Deutsch admits there's a learning curve when right. it comes to prompting the AI, yeah. which basically means giving it the right instructions to get the results that you want. So it sounds like it's like a whole new skill set we'll need to develop as educators. Yeah. But if it can lead to truly personalized learning experiences for students, then it's definitely worth exploring. I agree. It's like having a personal tutor available 24-7 for every student. That's amazing. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Okay. We need to remember that AI tools are not magic bullets. Right. They require careful planning and integration to be truly effective. <laughs> That's a great point. Yeah. Let's delve into some of Dr. Deutsch's wisdom nuggets. Okay. On how to actually use these tools effectively in the classroom. Hmm. Welcome back to our deep dive into AI and ELT. Mm -hmm. So, you know, one thing that struck me about Dr. Deutsch's presentation yeah. is her honesty yeah. about the limitations of some of these tools. Mm -hmm. She even admitted to feeling frustrated oh, really? with certain features, yeah. especially in the free versions. It's refreshing to hear that, isn't it? Yeah. It reminds us that AI isn't some magical solution that's going to solve all of our teaching problems oh, overnight. Exactly. It's a tool. Mm -hmm. And like any tool, it has its strengths and weaknesses. For sure. And it's important to be aware of those limitations before we get too carried away. Right. For example, she mentioned that Magic School, yeah. while great for generating activities, yeah. doesn't make it easy to export them right. for use outside of the platform. Yeah. Instead of giving up on the tool altogether, though, mm. she found creative workarounds right. to make it work for her. Yeah, that kind of... A... That adaptability is essential when it comes to navigating the AI world. Absolutely. Yeah. And it reminds us that the goal isn't to find the perfect tool, but rather to find the right tool for the right purpose. Exactly. Speaking of the right tool for the right purpose, she had some interesting things to say about Book Creator. I loved how she talked about using it for student projects and then sharing those creations on Google Classroom. That's great. Yeah. It's a great example of how we can blend AI with existing educational platforms mm -hmm. to create a more seamless learning experience. Exactly. We don't have to abandon everything that we've been doing. Right. It's about finding ways to enhance our existing practices with these new technologies. I agree. And it seems like Dr. Deutsch is all about blending and integrating. Yes. Did you catch that she's a big advocate for Moodle? I did hear that. Yeah. Yeah. She even hinted at an upcoming course on using Moodle with AI. Oh, wow. Which I'm definitely going to check out. I'm curious about that as well. Moodle is such a powerful learning management system. Yes. I can only imagine how AI could take it to the next level. Yeah. It's exciting to see how these different technologies can all work together yeah. to create a richer learning environment for everybody. Absolutely. Now, remember how we talked about the importance of understanding what's behind the AI tools? Well, Dr. Deutsch has a surprisingly simple suggestion for that. Okay. What is it? Use them. Okay. She says the more you use these tools, the more your brain starts to grasp Interesting. the underlying mechanics. It makes sense when you think about it. Yeah. It's like learning a new language. Mm -hmm. At first, it might feel foreign and confusing. Yeah. But the more you immerse yourself in it, right. the more natural it becomes. You yeah. start to understand the nuances, the grammar, the patterns. And it's not about becoming a computer scientist right. or an AI expert. It's yeah. about developing that comfort level with the technology so we can use it effectively in our teaching. Exactly. And to help us on that journey, yes. Dr. Deutsch shared her five-minute rule. Okay. Which I absolutely love. Yeah. She suggests dedicating just five minutes each day okay. to experimenting with a new AI tool. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It's such a practical and manageable approach. Yeah. We don't have to try to master every single tool out there. Small, consistent steps can lead to big results. It's about making AI exploration a part of your regular routine. Yes. Not a daunting task that we keep putting off. Yeah. What do you think could you commit to five minutes a day? Absolutely. Mm. It's such a small investment of time, mm. but it could have a huge impact on your teaching. Yeah. And let's be honest, not every tool is going to be a winner. That's true. Dr. Deutsch even shared that she's tried certain image generators. Oh, really? That just didn't quite work for her, so she moved on. Yeah. It's okay to let go of tools that aren't serving our purpose. Right. And focus on the ones that do. I appreciate that she's so open about that. Yeah. You know, it reminds us that it's okay to experiment, to try things out and see what works. Mm. It's not about being perfect or knowing everything. It's right. about being curious and willing to learn. Speaking of curiosity, yeah. I'm still thinking about ReflectBot. 
Yeah. And those incredibly insightful questions it supposedly asks. I know. It really made me wonder about the potential of AI to push us beyond yes. our usual ways of thinking. It's like having a thought partner yeah. who can challenge our assumptions and help us see things from a new perspective. And she really emphasized how much it surpassed human capability Yes. to ask such thought-provoking questions. Yes. That's a powerful statement, and I'm eager to learn more yeah. about how this tool works. It's magic. Now, are you ready to dive into something a little more advanced? Sure. Dr. Deutsch also discussed 11 Labs, okay. a platform that lets you create your own conversational AI tutor. Wow, that sounds incredibly powerful. Yeah. But I imagine it must be quite complex to set up. She said there is a learning curve when it comes to prompting. Okay. Which is basically the art of giving the AI the right instructions. I see. To get the desired results. It sounds like learning a whole new language. Yeah. The language of AI. Yes. But if we can master it, think of the possibilities. I don't know. We could create personalized learning experiences mm -hmm. tailored to each student's individual needs. It's like having a team of personal tutors at our fingertips. Exactly. But as Dr. Deutsch reminds us, it's important to remember that we're still the ones in control. Right. We need to guide the AI. Yes. Adapt it to our specific teaching goals mm -hmm. and make sure it aligns with our pedagogical approach. It's about finding that delicate balance. Yes. Between leveraging the power of AI. Yeah and retaining our own agency as educators. Exactly. We don't want to simply hand over the reins to technology. Right. We need to be thoughtful and intentional about how we use it. And speaking of intentionality, yeah. she also highlighted the importance of collaboration. Okay. Finding other educators who are passionate about exploring AI and ELT yes. can make all the difference. I couldn't agree more. This is uncharted territory for many of us. Yeah. And we need to support each other, share our experiences, yeah, and learn from each other's successes and challenges. Dr. Deutsch ended her presentation with a powerful reminder. Okay. AI is not a magic bullet. It's not about finding the perfect tool or letting technology take over. Mm -hmm. It's about using these tools thoughtfully and intentionally yes. to create engaging learning experiences yeah. that promote critical thinking and deeper understanding. That's such an important message. It's easy to get caught up in the hype yeah, and see AI as a quick fix. Right. But the real value lies in how we use it Yes, to empower ourselves as educators mm -hmm. and create more meaningful learning opportunities for our students. Welcome back to the final part of our deep dive into AI for ELT. You know, as we wrap up this exploration of Dr. Deutsch's insights, yeah. what really strikes me is mm. her genuine passion yeah. for empowering teachers. Yes, absolutely. It's not just about the technology itself. It's uh -huh. about how we can use it to yeah. make a real difference in the lives of our students. Exactly. And one of the key takeaways for me yeah. is the importance of staying focused. Okay. Dr. Deutsch talked about the overwhelming amount of information out there yep. and how easy it is to get lost in the sea of new AI tools and trends. It can feel like a tidal wave sometimes, right? It really can. Especially with new tools and updates emerging almost daily. And that's why Dr. Deutsch's advice to not try to do it all is so valuable. Mm -hmm. We need to be selective. Okay. Choose a few tools that align with your teaching goals. Yeah. And really dive deep with them. Okay. It's better to master a few tools right. than to dabble in a dozen <laughs> and not truly understand any of them. It's like the old saying, jack of all trades, master of none. Exactly. We can apply that to AI tools too. Absolutely. And remember her five-minute rule. Yes. Even just a few minutes of daily exploration right. can help you discover those hidden gems mm -hmm. and make the whole process feel much less daunting. It's about making AI exploration a part of your regular routine. Yes. Just like we encourage our students to read for a few minutes each day. Exactly. We can do the same with exploring new tech tools. I love that analogy. We need to model lifelong learning for our students. Yes. And what better way than to show them that we're also constantly learning and growing. Now, another crucial point that Dr. Deutsch emphasized yeah. is the importance of interactive learning. Right. AI can generate all sorts of amazing activities. It can. But it's up to us to make them engaging and thought-provoking. That's right. Yeah. We need to be careful not to let AI turn into a glorified worksheet machine. Yeah. The real magic happens when we use it to spark creativity, right. 
critical thinking yeah. and meaningful interaction in the classroom. AI can be a fantastic tool yes. for generating ideas and providing personalized feedback, mm -hmm. but it can't replace the human element of teaching. Right. We still need to create those connections with our students, mm -hmm. facilitate discussions, yeah. and encourage them to think deeply about what they're learning. We need to remember that teaching is both an art and a science. Yes. AI can definitely enhance the science part. Mm -hmm. by providing data and personalized insights. Mm -hmm. But it's the art part, the human connection and creativity that truly brings learning to life. Beautifully said. And speaking of connection, yes, Dr. Deutsch encourages teachers to connect with each other as well. Yes, Finding a community of like-minded educators yeah. who are passionate about exploring AI and ELT can be incredibly valuable. I completely agree. Yeah. This is new territory for many of us, mm -hmm. and it's so important to have a support system. Yeah. A group of people we can bounce ideas off of, right. share our struggles and successes with, and learn from each other. So as we wrap up this deep dive, I'm curious, what are you going to try in your classroom? Oh, that's a good question. What's resonating with you the most from Dr. Deutsch's insights? For me, it's the reminder that AI is a tool, not a replacement. Yes. It's up to us to use it wisely and ethically mm -hmm. to create a more personalized, engaging, and effective learning experience for every student. I love that. And, you know, Dr. Deutsch mentioned that AI can help us understand what's behind the tools themselves. Right. How might that change the way we approach teaching and learning? Wow. It's a question worth pondering. It is. As we step into this exciting new era of AI-powered education. Indeed. And remember, yeah. you don't have to go it alone. Right. Connect with other educators, mm. experiment, and most importantly, have fun with it. Yes. The future of ELT is brimming with possibilities. Well said. Keep exploring, keep connecting, and keep those learning adventures going. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Until next time.